Listen Up is back looking at life in the Arctic, where the story of climate change and the risk it poses to Inuit life drew us far up north in Canada, Coral Harbor, Nunavut. For those of us in the south, it's hard to imagine that spotting a caribou like this one, or skinning a polar bear, or carving up a seal is daily dinner process for the Inuit. And it's not easy hunting. Not, it's not, it's not easy. You have to look for it very hard. What God has given to us is what we use in order to survive. So that's, that's how God has given to us this land that we're going to look after and eat what is given to us by our God. We can grow nothing out here. We only depend on animals. We share what we cut and share it to other communities. Whoever needs it, come and go and get some. There may be a Hollywood campaign to stop seal hunting, but here the seal is critical for human survival. And the rest of these are seals. My, my wind pants are seals. They protect me from the wind and from the cold. They are a lot better than what we buy from northern stores or crop. These are the things that are more suitable to be used up here when we go out hunting. They're waterproof, made waterproof by ladies. They show them. The jacket is homemade. My wife made it for me. These are sealskin mitts. They're the best to be used up here in Nunavut, in cold weather. Here in Coral Harbor, the birth rate is three times higher than that of the South, 4%. Every child is a welcome child. Almost every family has an adopted child. That's not to whitewash social problems. They've been so severe, the men who lead Coral Harbor's search and rescue have now become teachers on how to take your life to God for rescue. I went through hard times in my life, and I was angry. I was broken up in hearts with my family, and I have to give my life to Jesus Christ, but I kept going down, kept falling down. In a land with only a few winter hours of daylight, there have been dark times in lifestyles. Even though tiny Coral Harbor has four churches full each week and has been an alcohol-free town for decades, free will made different choices. It seems so normal to live that way, being an alcoholic, you know, being a sinful man, but yet going to church. It, it's so normal. It felt so normal. I thought it was normal. Because coming from the land, our parents just got into Christianity and we're, we were new to it. We didn't know any better. Christianity has long been familiar here. In the late 1800s, Anglican missionaries put the Inuktitut language into a syllabic system. But today, there are no missionaries or paid clergy in Coral Harbor. Instead, faith is being renewed through a different route. Honesty, men sitting together telling the truth. My son is 22 years old now, and I have never been a real father to him for all these years. And I started to real, realize that this is the pain that I've been carrying. Maybe if I let it out, and even though the most, the most hard part was trying to take it out through the mouth. <clears throat> the pain that you have in your heart. Once he started sitting with the men's group, he realized he was not the only one. We're all, we're all the same. We all have the same problems. Breaking their isolation, hearts thawed. I must look at myself. I can't look at him, look at other people. I can't look at my kids. I don't look at my wife. I have to look at Noel, see what's inside. What does God want inside me? pain that I had, I was passing it to my kids, to my family. 
I have to cut that rope and start a new life with my family. So one of the best ways that forgive me for not being a father to you. Forgive me for not being a husband to you. Um, it's called, uh, our men's group is called Anguti Makigyalninga, Men Rising. That's the title, that's our title. Um, Satan doesn't like that and he will fight, fight for whatever it takes to bring the man back down. And for the fight, this tool that translation began over 100 years ago, the Bible. This is my life. This is the life that was given to me. If I read it, I can walk with Jesus. It tells you everything what you have to do in your life. As a men's group, we are standing on on Bible. So it's not just the climate that is changing lifestyles in Coral Harbor. A spiritual warming is also. Because the communication with God out in the tundras, it's so powerful. As a hunters, when we go out, we are not only hunting, we are communicating with our God out there. He's talking to us. Not by speaking, but by thought, by Holy Spirit. You're communicating. <laughs>